What's happening? In, 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 in. <laughs> now, what's going on, guys? Oh, this is going to be a real quick tutorial showing you how to put tags in your beats, how to make them. So, for example, like in some beats, I use this at the beginning of my beats, or I'll use this. And I'm going to show you how I got this one. So, first, I don't know, for some reason, I just remembered the clip from Family Guy, and I just. Search it on YouTube to see if it was up here, and I found it. Let me show you what it sounds like. Are you flexing? What? Me? No. no. Why, why would I be flexing? I mean, I have uh, sort of been hitting the gym, so uh, if, if you wanted to see how it's going... It... Gadoosh! Gadoosh! Alright, so then after that, I went to keepvid.com, and I copied the URL from the video, which is up here. Just go here, copy, paste it right in here, click download. And I usually download the MP4 of the video because I don't know. I, I don't think my uh, program that I use to the cool edit accepts any other file format. You, it's, it has an option to download the MP3, but that never ends up working for me. I don't know why. So I just stick with the MP4. So I'll download the MP4, save it, and I'll show you. It's right here on my desktop. Let me just close all the shit. It's right there. Family Guy Reflexing MP4. Then I open up Cool Edit, which I like to use to edit. I already queued this up. Are you flexing? Are you flexing? So Are you just select it up, make sure that that's what you want to use. You right click, add to queue list, bang. Then you go here, right here to your queue list. Select the queue, batch it. And I already have the destination folder set where I want it to go to in FL Studio. I have a folder called Chops where I send all my sample chops. And I called it. Flex 01. I'm not going to actually do it because I already have it in there right now. So I'm good. I'm not going to click OK. I'll show you it in FL Studio again. Then go here. My folder where chops. It says chops. I don't know if I showed you earlier. Chops right here. Flex 01. Are you flexing? Uh, here it is. Are you flexing? 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 All I did here was put a little bit of delay on it. I'm going to show you how I do that. Let me replace this with none. I'll show you from the beginning. So your thing is, uh, is uh, as a default, it's going to show like this. It's not going to have anything in there. So you just click here, select, you go to delay two, time. I put four steps and then Are you flexing? Bang. Flexing? 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 without it, Are you flexing? with it, Are you flexing? 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 it's that simple. So whatever your producer name is, you can just try to search. What I did with my other one, the Staxon, since that's my production name, I googled Staxon lyrics and saw which songs had Staxon in the song, in the lyrics or whatever. Then I found the acapella of that song. So in my case, I found T.I., whatever you like. There's a part where he says Stax on deck. So I went in the acapella and chopped that part up. And then I got this. So I use that sometimes. Alright. So it's really not that complicated. Really quick, simple thing to do. And it gives a little bit of... I don't know how you can say it. Like, personality to your beat. Like, so... Let's say somebody comes in and tries to steal it. There's no way they're going to be able to deny that your tag is in the beginning of that beat or wherever you put it. You can always go back and say, look, this is my thing playing in there. You know what I'm saying? So, you can't steal my shit.